All right, guys, welcome back to today's video from Farmer Scoobs. Um, I'm going to start off this video. I'm going to try a new way of introducing the videos. I'm going to start by saying, please hit the like button for this video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done that uh, to get weekly and daily video uh, updates and notifications from Farmer Scoobs. In today's video, we have gotten ourselves our bung for our Pottinger Moor sent up to us from Atkins. So we're going to be getting that finished off and getting that squared away and getting it put back into the shed ready to chop grass in a little over a week's time. So we'll catch you in a few. And ordered Friday, sent out Friday evening from Cork, here first thing Monday morning, from Atkins down in Cork, sent it complimentary to me, and I appreciate it very much. Thanks, thanks guys down there. Um, we don't really buy this, like since we've gotten this more, we haven't had to put a whole pile into it, but I guarantee I know exactly where I'm going the next time I need parts for it. Um, so we're just gonna get the bung, if you remember back from my previous video. I just screwed it back in with the, the little attachment on it. I think you can see it there, hopefully. So I'm just gonna get that pulled off, get the new bung put on, and I'll bring you back in then when I'm getting ready to top it up with oil. So just simple as you like, I'm gonna get the new bung ready. I don't think there's any oil left in it anyway. A bit of air. Yeah, there's no oil. It was well drained out when I finished the, the, the last day, so screw in the new one. At least I know it'll make it easier changing the oil in it the next time when there's a new bung in it. That's it. Job done. So in here is where our other bung is. This is our filler bung. So no matter topping it up until the oil comes out there and that is it we'll give it a spin then afterwards and hopefully everything should be hunky-dory so just on that when we're changing the oil this is the type of oil that we're putting back into it it's gear oil 80w90 and that is it won't even take all that about maybe three maybe four liters and uh, so i'm not entirely sure how this is going to go it's probably going to end up spilling all over the place before we even get started, but I'm going to give it a try. Don't know if there's an easier way. I suppose we could use a tundish. This way seems to be working just fine. So that might do it. What's gone into it now? Two and a half liters. So guys, I just want to finish off today's video by just saying the more did work out. Um, we got the oil into it about two and a half to two and three quarter liters is all it took at the end. A lot less than five, but it doesn't actually stay on the 
uh, workshop manual, how many leaves is it supposed to go into that uh, particular moor. It's a Pottinger Novacat 225H. If anyone has any experience with them, they might let me know. But I filled it up as much as I think that needs to go into it. And we ran it afterwards. Ran away, perfect, no bother. We put the skid plate back on the bottom for where the bung was. And it is now backed into the shed. I have disconnected from our Zetter tractor, so we're just going to leave it here. We're about a week off, bank holiday weekend, the Tuesday morning after the bank holiday weekend. It'll be going on to the Landini, and I will be getting grass on the ground. We have about 13 to 15 acres, I think, roughly to cut, and it's going to be half and half. We're going to do some haylage, and we are going to do some hay with the rest of it. Hoping the weather is, is going to be good enough for it. So look, guys. As I always say, please, if you like the video, please give it a like and thumbs up. Oh, hold on. Tomorrow morning, tomorrow's video is going to be quite hectic. There's a couple of bits and pieces that's going to be going on tomorrow. I don't want to give away too much, but you know that the tractor is going. The 135 is going to be going, and there is something else going to happen in tomorrow's video also. I'm going to try and get it all if I can. Um, if not, I'll split it across two different days, and we will go from there. But as always, guys, look at Please like the video. That's the main thing. Um, it helps me. It doesn't do anything just to hit the like button. It'd be a big help to me if you could do that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. And as always, we will catch you tomorrow. You should have the beacons on. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a necessity. It feels like